What's up, everybody? We're going to get into it here. Steelers year-end review. Um, this is going to be a quick one. Um, Steelers year-end review, let's face it, all three phases weren't perfect. None of them were perfect. Um, nine and eight record, finish the season above 500. Tomlin, 18 winning seasons, 258 and one uh, meaningful games uh, that he's been involved in. This team's always been... Um, playing for something during the season and close to playoff time and all that stuff. So, um, special teams, we have Boykin, we have Watt, um, Derek Watt, um, Benny Snell, people like that. They were some highlights. Uh, Boswell, inconsistent at times, um, money at times. It just, what Boswell were you going to get? And that happens to him every contract year, I feel like, or anything like that. Or if he has something going on, i.e. getting married or something like that. Um, I just feel that he has those times where he just is not that great. And then there's times where he's Hall of Famer, you know. So, um, special teams lacked. Harvin shanked a bunch of punts. Sometimes he looked good. You can see the potential in him. Um, hopefully next season's his, his year to be very consistent, Boswell included. Um, Danny Smith, hopefully he gets that, the special teams wound up and, uh, back on the right track. Um, defense. Uh, the secondary led by Minka Fitzpatrick, Terrell Edmonds, uh, KZ, Wallace, Sutton. Um, those guys, they played pretty good down the stretch, uh, to get that seven and two record. Uh, they weren't horrible. They weren't getting beat every play over the top. They had some bad games to where they got smoked and spanked. Um, I do feel like that they're gonna um, improve playing together here. Hopefully they can keep that secondary basically intact here for another season or two to uh, see what we got here. I feel like they could really uh, take off and be something special, especially Minka, KZ, and Edmonds together. You could put some really exotic packages out there with them. Um, the linebacker room, we need to spruce up those inside linebackers. Uh, Miles Jack had an okay season. Devin Bush, he was there at times. Sometimes he wasn't. He's not a top 10 pick, that's for sure. Um, I don't think he'll be back. I think we're going to move on. I think we're going to find somebody else. I think we're going to um, really go for it in a free agency in the draft, hopefully. Um, the line uh, had some bright spots. Cam Hayward gets better with age, in my opinion. Uh, he played lights out this season. Great leader. TJ Watt, we see the effect he has on the defense. When he's not in, we don't win. When he's in, we win. It's real simple. Um, also, we had Highsmith. What a phenomenal year. He, uh, I feel like he really watches TJ and he's trying to model himself like to be like that. And those two together are good, upstanding guys. And I feel like they make a solid, uh, duo and they can really wreak some havoc. And next year should be their year to really, really shine. That'll be their third year together. Highsmith, Watt, hopefully they'll stay healthy. Um, that's the biggest thing in the NFL is staying healthy. If you can't stay healthy, you're screwed. I mean, come on. You can't just play backups every week. I mean, there's a big drop off from second team to first team in the NFL, in my opinion, a lot of the time. So, um, defense played solid, uh, especially down the stretch. Um, they had a great game that first game against, uh, Joe Burrow in Cincinnati. And what a crazy game that was that they pulled out. But, um, all in all, I'm going to give them a decent grade. I think they're a B plus for the year, B minus for the year. They they did they did what they had to do, and they really showed uh, some poise there at the end and uh, really come up big when they needed to at times. Um, the offense, Matt Canada, is he gone? Is he staying? I don't know. We're going to have to review that a little bit more. Um, we will have another episode to go a little bit more in depth as the uh, off season progresses on the Steelers. <coughs> um, Kenny Pickett, boy, he shines. He has that gene. He has that clutch gene. Um, he really knows how to hit it. Ah, this kid is something else. And I'm telling you, I don't think he'll be Patrick Mahomes, but I think he'll be a winner. I think he's got that Ben Roethlisberger, eye the type tiger type shit, man. When you get down to it and the game's on the line, you want the ball in his hands. And I like that. He's starting to throw people open, starting to really go through his progressions. He missed a big one yesterday with Sims wide open running down. That was a touchdown he missed. I've seen that a lot this year, but I felt like he was getting better. Uh, he led this team down there, 7-2 and two at the end. Uh, really great. Um, Mitch Trubisky, I don't look for him to be back. I think he's going to go somewhere else, try to find another uh, place to get uh, starter time. Um, 
the running backs, Jalen Warren, what a great rookie he was. He really, uh, he really surprised me, and I'm glad that we have him, and he's, uh, he's a valuable asset for sure. Najee ran like a man possessed. Um, during this seven and two stretch, I mean, he played lights out. He really played like a captain. Really played um, solid and and just got those tough mutter yards, dude. That really are hard to get and grind out some yards and grind out some time off the clock and really control the play, the game, and the flow of the game with Najee and Warren. Um, Benny Snell, when he got his chances even in there, I didn't think he was bad. I thought he did really well. Anthony McFarlane really well. I like the running back room as it sits right now, and I hope we can keep that intact for a few more seasons. Um, the offensive line really started to gel together. They were horrible at the beginning of the year, but toward the end of the year, I thought they really made some big strides, and next year should be their year. Hopefully, we can get an upgrade in a couple positions. Hopefully, um, a free agency draft. Uh, they really focus on defensive line, offensive line, and really try to make a um, strong effort to boast those a little bit. Um, the wide receiver group. Um, I can't say enough about Pickens. He's something else. He's he's amazing. The man catches everything. He's just lights out. And if he wouldn't have had that ACL, he'd have been gone in the top ten. I guarantee that he's he's something else. He he's a real winner. He knows how to play, man, and his athleticism is just something that we haven't seen for a long time, in my opinion. Um, Deontay Johnson needs to quit running east and west. Needs to uh, quit running backwards. <laughs> um, the fumbles, the drops. Um, he did not play like a number one, in my opinion. Um, do we need him? Yeah, but I don't feel that he was the number one. Pickens is the number one on this team at this point. In my going into the off season, George Pickens is the number one target. Um, Pat Fryermuth, uh, let's hope that his injury there at the end of the Cleveland game was nothing too serious, and that he can get right back into the swing of things. Um, through mini camps, AT, OTAs, all that kind of stuff. Uh, man, Connor Hayward is going to be special. You've heard it here first. I'm sure you guys have thought the same thing. With more playing time, this man's going to really be something special. And I'm um, looking forward to really watching him grow. And he has that Hayward mentality, hopefully. That leader-type quality. Um that we see in his brother, and I'm hoping that uh, he got that trait from his old man also, like Cam did. So, Connor, we're wishing you good luck. I hope you really, really do it and uh, really get some more playing time. Um, Gentry, I like him as a blocking tight end. Uh, I think they try to throw to him sometimes too much. I don't know. Maybe. I, I, I'm not sure with Gentry. He's just such a weird, weird beast. Um, also... Um, the offensive line, like I said, we have to focus there. The the receivers, Steve Sims played great. His return skills sometimes lacked. Um, Miles Boykin, I think, should be in the game a little bit more, maybe. Um, Gunner, we'll, we'll, we're praying that his injury isn't too bad, but I don't think he'll be with the Steelers next year anyway. I think he's got to have to move on. Um, I think... Um, Calvin Austin's going to move into that spot and really shine next year, and I think that's going to be another bright spot for this team. Um, as a whole, in review, um, I'm sad that we missed the playoffs by three points, uh, nine to six win. Dolphins over the Jets. Joe Flacco couldn't get us one. Um, he must have been mad because we beat him up so many times in the playoffs and things like that. So when he was with Baltimore, and uh, I think he thought to himself, I'm screwing the Steelers. We'll let this crappy team on their fourth team quarterback get in the playoffs and go take that ass whoop whooping in Buffalo. In reality, he helped us because I don't want Kenny's confidence to be destroyed when he goes up there and gets his ass beat by the Bills because the Bills are a machine and they're really going to roll. Um, speaking of the Bills, Damar Hamlin about to be going home, about to be released back to Buffalo, and that is so awesome, man. Thank you, God. Thank God. Um, Damar, prayers, man. Well wishes. Um, I'm hoping you come back and play in 